Hi, this is Neil. Welcome to Article Reading for Juniors. Today's article is about some Muslim Olympians who are going to be in the Olympics in London in a couple of weeks and how they're having some trouble because those Olympics happen during a very important religious holiday for uh, Muslims. And on that holiday, you have to fast or not eat which is obviously kind of bad for an athlete, someone who has to have lots of energy to be able to perform at the highest Olympic level in his or her sport. We're going to start looking at question number three. The quotation on lines 61 through 66, or in the quotation on lines 61 through 66, Ronald Mogan suggests that the IOC will do what? So scroll down. Um, and start at line 59. Of course, this is a significant issue, says Ronald Mogan, head of the IOC's working group on nutrition. The IOC is very concerned that no athlete is disadvantaged. That said, the dates of the games were chosen by the local organizing committee more than 10 years ago. Opportunities were given to raise any objections to the schedule of events, and no objections were raised at the time. So, the Olympic Games will continue as planned, with or without a fast. In this quotation, he basically is telling people who are having a problem with the Olympic schedule that they did not raise any objections. They did not say anything about it 10 years ago when the dates for the games were chosen. So they can't change the dates now because the Olympics are just about to happen. They should have mentioned something a long time ago. Therefore, there's nothing they can do to change the dates of the games. And that's your answer. We're not going to change the dates. Look at A. Move the Olympics to London 10 years from now. That's the opposite of what you're looking for. He's telling people that the IOC is not going to change the dates of the Olympics. So get rid of A. What about B? Not allow fasting athletes to compete in the Olympics. This is not true either. He's not saying they can't compete. He's saying that they're not going to move the dates of the Olympics. So get rid of B, too. What about C? Not change the dates of the Olympics to accommodate Muslim athletes. That sounds like your answer. So you're going to click C, and you know it's right because you predicted pretty much exactly what C says. But let's just make sure by reading D. Not provide pre-dawn and post-sunset meals to Muslim athletes. Nope, that's not right. Doesn't say anything about providing meals to anyone. We're going to look at number four next. Nisar Ahmad Bohawi is all of the following except. So scroll all the way up to line 11, right here. And a question like this on all of the following except question Everything in the answer choices except one is going to describe this guy. So you have to find the one thing that the paragraph doesn't say about him, and that's your answer. So is he a man from Afghanistan? Let's see. He's a 27-year-old Afghan Taekwondo fighter, so he is from Afghanistan. So it's not A. What about B, a martial artist? Well, he's a Taekwondo fighter, so he is a martial artist, so you know that's wrong. Is he an Olympic gold medalist? Let's see. He won silver medals in the Taekwondo World Championships and 2010 Asian Games, but it doesn't say he's won a gold medal, so that's probably your answer. And what about D, a Muslim? The whole article is about Muslims having trouble with uh, fasting during Ramadan, and it says that he's also having trouble with fasting during Ramadan, so you can assume that D is not right either, because he probably is a Muslim. Let's move on to question number seven. That's the last one we'll look at. Unlike most Bihi, Baha al-Fara is what? So you have to find that line, line 42 and 45, so here. And it's going to be a fact that's true about Baha al-Fara that's not true about most Bihi. So let's see, a runner. So is Baha al-Fara a runner? He is a runner. Now is most Bihi a runner? He's a rower. So this is something that most be he is not, that Baha al-Fara is, which means it's the right answer. Because you're looking for something that does describe this guy and doesn't describe this guy. What about fasting during the Olympics? Um, it says that he said it would be risky to fast, and he is also not fasting during the Olympics. So neither of these guys is fasting. So that's a similarity, not a difference, so it's not B. 
What about C from Britain? Well, it says Baha Alfara is from Gaza City, which is not in Britain. It's actually in near Israel. And let's see, most be he is from Britain, but that's wrong because it's something that Baha Alfara is not. He's not from Britain. He's from Gaza City. What about D? Not fasting for Ramadan this year. Yeah, it says that Farah is going to fast later, and so will、uh, Most Bihi on line forty-three. So they are both going to fast for Ramadan. They're just going to do it after the usual dates for that fast. So A is definitely the right answer, and we can click it again just to be happy and get it right. Now, if you have any more questions, go to the forum and ask. Uh, there, the people who wrote the questions will be happy to answer any problems you might have. I look forward to talking you, to you tomorrow, and I hope you have a good night tonight. See you later.